Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. Isn't that Daisy just gorgeous? Oh, love it. Love Daisy. Yeah, really, really like her. Um, but what I've got here is a little box for a Vaseline. Now, I have done this box before um, in a very similar fashion, but I wanted to bring it up to date with new colours and stuff and things and beautiful new embellishment. Now, I've got a pink bubbly one in there. I did have one that was a really good colour match um, for the colour that I'm going to bring in in a minute um, only I put it down somewhere and I can't find it now so I've grabbed another one from my from my drawer rosy lips not using that colour I'm actually going to go with uh, fresh fig which I love the colour I'm really I have really taken to four out of five I'll admit it four out of five of the new in colours but I really really I love this one it's so beautiful um, but I'm going to show you how to make the box, and this makes such a good gift. It really does make it a great, quick, simple, easy gift that just looks gorgeous. How lush is that with that big old daisy on the top? I have colour tipped her edges, and I'm going to show you how I've done that. But piece of cardstock you need: seven by four inches, seventeen and a half by ten centimeters. So let's grab my stylus, um, and on the long side, score it at one, three. Let me just turn that round four and six inches which is two and a half seven and a half ten and fifteen centimeters and then turn it round and score it at one and three which is two and a half and seven and a half centimeters okay so bring that round again so burnish your score lines and this box, while it's designed specifically for these Vaseline jars, you can put other stuff in there. I could imagine that with some nice little sweetie treats in. Something like that might be very nice. I'm just grabbing some scissors. Okay, so there we go. If I tip it that way, you can see that I've created six little squares. So we need to separate all of those. So trim on the outside, cut straight down the rectangle, and there's a little knobbly bit. And we're going to cut that away. So we're cutting into the square. So always keep so that you're taking the knobbly bit of the score line away. So that your rectangles have always got nice, sharp, straight edges. And then go around and do the same on the other side. If I remember rightly, I did red and black when I did this a few years ago. That fresh fig is so gorgeous. Not a big fan of figs actually to eat. Um, I certainly like the colour. Figs aren't particularly commonplace in the UK. Not as far as I'm concerned anyway. Right. It's not something I see on my average supermarket shop. Okay, so I've got some panels of Whisper White cardstock here. This is one and three quarters by one and three quarters inches, which is four and a half by four and a half centimetres. I'm going to leave that plain. These are one and three quarter by three quarters of an inch, which is four and a half by two centimetres. I'm going to stamp on these. And there's this little trio of daisies. And if I get the right size block, I could put it on this one, but I actually, I wouldn't be able to, I can see through it, but I can't see the edges very well. So I want a bigger block and then I literally can perfectly align it because I can see completely through it much, much better. So I'm actually fresh fig here. I went tone on tone with the other one that I did. So photopolymer stamps are brilliant. Oh, I've just stuck my finger in there. Um, are brilliant because you can see through them, but if you are putting them on a block that is only just exactly the right size you actually can't see through all that well so that to one side but yeah I did tone on tone on this one just about see it on the powder pink right which is going to be my top and my bottom it doesn't make a difference at this stage because they're exactly the same size um, so I'm just going to go with this one that's closest to me
And then these four are going to go on those four panels there. Again, nearest where we've put the square for the top. Oops. Oh, I should have put nail polish on to match, shouldn't I? I have got one handy. Oh, I've wibbled that completely. Yeah, I have got one in a very similar colour. What I'm wearing is OPI. It's called I'm Not Really a Waitress. <laughs> got a nice little shimmer to it there we go okay so we can build up the box now so basically you put glue in all six of those panels um, I prefer to use a dry adhesive so fast fuse definitely a friend with this liquid glue is great you just have to be you have to sit and hold it and if you move it too soon it can be a bit messy right so the bottom is the one that hasn't hasn't got a panel on it so start building that one up first So that's the first part of the bottom and then this one also needs to go in that needs to come in and glue I need to move my chair a little bit otherwise I'm going to go off camera it's a very hot day today and um, I think I might need to go and get some water in a minute because I'm getting a bit hot okay that's that done Vaseline tin in too cute and that will close up. So I'm going to tie it with some ribbon, but I'm just going to put a knot on it because I'm actually going to hide the um, the knot with the with the daisy. I can't speak. Definitely need to go and get some <laughs> some liquid inside me. And then I'm going to punch two daisies out and I'm going to colour tip the edges. There's one and there's the other. So I'm bringing back in my ink and I've got a sponge. Now I prep my sponges by cutting one round sponge in four pieces. So I just cut it into um, cake shaped slices and then you grab a labelling punch and we've got the new label punch and just punch out the relevant colour, fold it in half across the triangle and that's your sponge made with a little handy helper, a handy holder here, in the colour and if you've got colours that are similar God, I, hope that was, ah, I think that was all off camera um, there we go and yeah if, you, if you've got colours that are similar write on it so I've just written fig so I know which one that is and finally, definitely need to sort out the positioning of my tripod. I was so very used to my old layout that um, I'm struggling to, and I, you know, fine-tuned it down to exactly the right position for the tripod. And I now need to be working on that, I think. Okay, so paper piercer and a mini glue dot and a motorbike's just pulled up and I don't know who's on it, but they haven't got a helmet. Silly, silly. Always wear a helmet. Right outside the window, they're not coming to my house. And off again. Great big motorbike, no helmet and shorts. Anyway, right. Faceted gem in the middle. Gone for a silver one this time. And then a whole load of glue dots on there. This probably is where liquid glue would be your friend, but, you know, glue dots and... Blue Dots and I are great friends, we're great buddies. And onto there to cover up the knot. We've still got a little bit peeping out, which is quite fun. Got the little edges tipped. Insta gift. How cute. Just those little edges tipped and that little bit of detailing on there. Love it. I love that. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon. <laughs>